Hello guys, how's your heart today? How's your wonderful dynamic heart? I hope it's well. I really hope it's well. So Team Terry said to me, you gotta talk to them. You gotta talk to them about patience. And I'm like, am I really the person to talk to them about patience? Because <laughs> I am a person who has like the least amount of patience. Um, and for those of you who suffer from anxiety, you get what I'm saying, right? You understand. So patience, 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 patience. And as I'm recording this uh, video for you guys, it is the full moon uh, of Pisces. And um, it's, so it's a really emotional moon. And full moons, just generally speaking, are all about letting go, uh, of something that no longer serves us, releasing, right? So a lot of us don't wanna release when we have anxiety. We do not wanna release and let something go, surrender into it because we have to know what the outcomes and the results are, right? So patience, 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 patience. You know, you've heard, I'm sure, patience is a virtue. Um, Patience is important, especially these days with so much uncertainty. And that's the thing is that humanity is going through an upgrade. Mother Earth is going through an upgrade right now. And it is hard for us to be patient. One of the biggest ways we do need to be patient right now, they're saying, is in this division. Uh, and the polarity that we're experiencing. Now it's normal for the third dimension of reality to have polarity. And that's one of the staples of the third dimension of reality. So third dimension of reality is length, width, and height. Fourth dimension adds time. So technically we're in the third and fourth dimension right now, right? The fifth dimension, when you're hearing a lot of this spiritual talk about fifth dimension, it's when you can get beyond or past time, beyond or past the self, the body, beyond or past things, no things, right? Nothing. And beyond and past time, right? So that's what you hear about, oh, you know, we're working our way towards the fifth dimension. Well, the thing is, is the fifth dimension is right here, right now in this reality as well. It's just, can you get past the physical world, past your five senses, past time, right? Can you go beyond that and not experience that? So you can, um, and you can do that in this now moment right now. Does it take practice? Hell yeah, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice, but you can do it through meditation. So where we are right now is in this really divisive place. Because in the fifth dimension, there is no polarity. Everything is one. There's only oneness, wholeness, completeness. Everybody understands that they are the other person. You are me and I am you, right? That's just the way it is. That's fifth dimensional reality. And the more we pay attention and the more we're tracking and logging and the more we are expecting or seeking outcomes and results, the more we notice it's not there, right? So that's polarity and duality, right? Which is the opposite of. If you have one end of the stick, you also have the other end of the stick, right? Happy, sad, rich, poor, fat, skinny. Just let's make that easy. So the more we're actually paying attention to something, the more we're tracking, the more we're logging, the more we're expecting an outcome and result, the less we're actually being patient. And even patience, the opposite or the polarity of patience is surrender or it's letting go or leaning into, right? So there's even polarity in that. There is polarity in patience.
So for us to have patience as somebody who has a lot of anxiety, not an easy feat to slow down, relax, surrender. But there is polarity in that, right? Which is not relaxing, control, um, being in action. You can even go so far as to say this is divine masculine energy versus divine feminine energy, right? Because masculine energy has the tendency to initiate, to do, right? Whereas feminine energy is relax, allow, let it happen, be, do versus be, yeah? Again, polarity. So because we live in this space-time reality, which means in order to get anywhere, to move anywhere, to do anything, there is a space between where we are and where we need to be or where we want to go. You see that space between my hands? And it takes time to get there, right? And we're moving our physical bodies to get from A to B. And the more we're not patient, the further away it is. Okay, the further away it is, the longer it takes to get there. So the key is yes, to be patient, right? So if you're struggling right now, which I bet you are, I am, in various areas, right? From the collective on a political scale to the individual on a personal scale. So many of us just don't want to be where we are and where we are and we all want to be in different places. Again, collectively and personally, individually. But it takes time to close that gap. So the way to actually be there is to access the fifth dimension where you got to get past your five physical senses, right? And technically the sixth sense would be knowing, right? Again, just like, which is like consciousness. You kind of can't get past consciousness, whether you are in physical or non-physical form. Consciousness is consciousness. It's the spiritual intelligence, yes? So we need to find a way to be patient with what's not here yet and stop noticing and paying attention to what's not here yet. Because the more we notice we don't have something, the longer it takes to get it and we're pushing it away. We're actually activating the law of repulsion. And it's the collapsible wave function that, of physics that actually teaches that. If you don't know about that, go ahead, look that, look that up. Um, so having patience is not easy. So the first step to having patience would really be acceptance, right? But to really honestly, authentically, and truthfully have acceptance, you have to know yourself really well, right? So when I'm asking you, how is your heart today? It's like, how are you? Do you know yourself? Do you know your needs and wants? Can you fulfill them on your own? Because if you can, and you don't have to look outside of yourself, and you don't have to place your awareness or your attention outside of yourself, and you're just giving it to yourself, it's easier to accept what is happening in the now moment, right? And it allows us to relax into whatever is going on in this now moment. And I think a lot of us have a problem. I know I do. Uh, so when I'm sharing this with you, I'm definitely talking about myself. It's, I forget that I'm in a now moment, every now moment, and every now moment feels so big and it feels so gigantic and so emotional and just so much more than me because I'm in this awareness that what I want or where I wanna be isn't here yet. 
So I'm not having the patience, but if I could just say to myself in this now moment, you know what? It's okay, I'm okay. I don't have what I want right now, or I'm not where I want right now, but I'm gonna trust that it's coming and I'm just gonna accept that right now, I feel this way and this is what's happening. And so I can lean into it. Now I'm not saying it's an easy job, but what it is is it's awareness, it's consciousness, it's mindfulness, right? And that's what helps close the gap of the space-time reality. And that's also what helps with patience. It's acceptance. That's what patience really is. It's just acceptance of the now moment. And again, I'm not saying it's an easy thing to do and I struggle with it. I do. I can catch myself or I should say I've gotten better at catching myself. So can you catch yourself in the now moment and just sort of just say, okay, this is what's going on in the now moment, but I'm going to trust that what I want, what I need or where I want to be is coming because there's we live in a space-time continuum and it takes time to close the gap. So there is this false sense of manifestation happening now. I mean, it can happen, but it depends on your energetic alignment. Where am I in the now moment, right? So things or situations will come to us when we're feeling better because they're higher elevated emotions and whatever we're feeling is what we're broadcasting outside of us those matching frequencies and then how open is our heart how much love can we not only give but receive because it is love it's the heart that magnetizes and brings to us so opening up our heart is a very counter intuitive process of being patient because intuitively or instinctively we're like we got to do 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 whereas the heart is like oh let me just receive so when we're talking about heart-centered work I'm sure you've heard that too it's about loving more versus thinking more and strategizing and doing more which is more masculine energy Right, so patience is a legit thing to have. And it's super important in these days where there's so much divisiveness and polarity where people are actually coming apart, but having the patience that they will or we will come together and unify and instill all of these changes, right? That, are, that is happening through the acceptance of what's going on in the now moment. Part of that acceptance of what's going on in the now moment is allowing other humans to have their own experience, even if you don't like it. And not pushing your agenda or your, um, opinions on them letting them have it that's acceptance that's leaning into now i'm not saying you have to like it you don't have to like it but to get yourself closer to that fifth dimensional space right to get yourself closer to the heart it is imperative that we accept somebody else's experience their opinions right that also gives us sovereignty and freedom. And it's through just allowing other people to have their experiences, their opinions, we actually bring together, we unify more as the human race. And in these days and these times, it has to show up in a very dramatic way for us. It has to. Like it can't not because there are so many people out there who do not think or feel like you and I, which is bigger and above beyond our personal self. And they're using the collective as an excuse for their own personal uh, behaviors and actions because they can't 
take responsibility for their choices and their decisions. So it's a lot easier to just push it on somebody else and make them wrong instead of taking responsibility or accountability for, for their part of whatever is going on. And so what acceptance does is it gives us patience. I don't like it, I'll be honest. I don't like it, like I wanna be done already. So I'm constantly reminding myself. And as somebody who does suffer from anxiety, um, not an easy feat, right? And so it's a matter of redirecting energy into a way that's more productive, right? Than um, just falling into patterns, my patterns and my behaviors and my coping skills, and it's not easy to do. So redirecting your energy helps with your patience too. Like yesterday, I went for about a three mile walk in the morning to tire out my body. I had a bout of anxiety midway through and I went later in the afternoon swimming and I did laps at the pool. I had to exhaust my body. I had to redirect my attention because all the, what anxiety is, is it's just excess energy in your body. So I had to redirect that and I had to disperse that energy. I had to get that energy out of my body so that I didn't fall into my patterns and coping skills. My survivalness, if you wanna call it. So I had to exhaust my physical body. I had to do something different than I would have done, right? So that is a step that helps me just accept look, in this now moment, this is what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something about it instead of push it away. For me in that now moment, it meant exhausting my physical body, my earth suit. Okay, fine, I did it. Redirecting attention, right? As a way of being patient until I get what I want, what I need, and where I need to be. So patience, 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 patience. Not easy, but a must. So just remember, these are just navigation tools that they, that Team Terry is saying, well, okay, tell them about this, tell them about this. And there's nothing that I'm gonna share with you that I haven't already done or um, am doing or finessing or experimenting with myself because I'm an energist and I'm a truthologist, <laughs> right? So patience, is something you can hear the helicopter see now i have to have patience if the helicopter passes through so you guys can hear me there we go patience is important patience is acceptance of the now moment of every now moment and in order for us to move forward to get to where we want to be we need to have patience and they are saying there's no way around it mm. So hang in there with everything that's going on. Find patience, seek out the patience. What can you do to be patient for what I call the in the meantime, in between time? Check on your heart. Always ask yourself, how's my heart? How is my heart? All right, you guys, what am I always saying? You stay connected, stay connected to yourself. Stay connected to your friends and family. Of course, you can stay connected to me. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be happy to. Check out my site, terryhuberman.com. We can work short-term together where I can just give you some short-term readings or we can work longer term if you really, really want to make change in your life. If you're tired of being broke or maybe you want to be in a healthy relationship or maybe you just want to feel better or get more connected to the divine, I will help you get out of indecision and into your intuition by helping you to regulate, man uh, manage, and balance that anxiety. Okay? So stay connected and I'll see ya on the flip side.